As winter returns to Siberia's northeastern region of Yakutia, villagers undertake a crucial ritual that will keep their families from dying from thirst, the harvesting of ice. Ten cubic meters of ice provide enough potable water to sustain a small family for around seven months. As temperatures hit minus 41 degrees Celsius, time begins to run out for Inokenti and his team. In just a few days, the ice will be too thick to harvest. The hardest bit is when the ice becomes 30 to 50 centimeters thick. Then the work becomes very physically difficult. For the communities in this, the coldest region of the planet, running water is a luxury available for only a few weeks a year due to frozen pipes. And the ice water offers other advantages. Our ice is pure. We do not need to cleanse it. We store it straight in a barrel and that's it. It's the purest drinkable water that exists. Local ecologists say the rivers that supply the tap water are regularly polluted by mining, Yakutia's primary economic activity. And at 74 years old, this villager avoids drinking it at all costs. Ice water is cleaner. I like it. And I don't like the taste of tap water. In the city it smells like chlorine, and here sometimes it smells like fuel oil. Along with fishing or logging, the tradition of ice harvesting is passed to the younger generations of the sparsely populated Yakutia. In this region, home to a million lakes, one for each of its inhabitants, it's a skill that will prove crucial for their survival.